we will see how to autotune in audacity for free audacity has no built-in support for autotune but you can use a free plugin to add autotune support in audacity this free vst plugin gsnap will take care of autotune in audacity i will give a link to this page in the description click on the download the gsnap vst plugin link choose the download link of your system for example if you are using 64 bit windows choose 64 bit or if you are using 32 bit windows then 32 bit from your operating system configuration be sure about this 32 bit or 64 bit thing i am using a mac so i will choose for mac os once the download is complete go to the location and unzip the file After unzip, I got gsnap mac and I have to copy it to the proper location. This location will vary depending on the OS you are using. In mac, inside library application support, I have the audacity. Inside the audacity folder, there is a plugins folder. I will paste the gsnap mac here. For Windows users, I will share this business insider link. Here it nicely shows which file to copy and where to paste that file. Link in the description. Now open Audacity. Go to Effect, Add, Remove Plugins. Now scroll down a bit to find GSnap. After graphic EQ, you will see GSnap and it is disabled. Enable GSnap. You are all set to use Autotune in Audacity. Open your audio file, select it and go to effect. You have to scroll down a bit to find the gsnap. The interface of gsnap looks like this. You can tweak different settings for autotune here and apply that. Also you can start with a factory preset. Choose any of the factory preset you like and start tweaking on top of that. One thing you have to be careful. If you click on apply, these autotune settings will be applied, but the gsnap settings window will remain open. In normal audacity effects, the effect settings window gets closed when the setting is applied. For gsnap, you have to click the close button. In case you are not sure if you have applied gsnap or confused about applying multiple times, you can check from edit history. Go to view history. Here you can see JSNAP applied ons. Thanks for watching. Please check the card on the screen. See you next and please comment on what Audacity tutorial you would like to see next.